good morning dear students so last class we discussed about different periodic properties that is ionization enthalpy electron gain enthalpy and electron negativity valency and how these properties vary in a group and in a period so now here we are going to discuss some other questions of this chapter so first uh, how to write the ipac name of elements so actually um, there are so many number of elements among the all elements the elements which are discovered or which has uh, discovered after uranium that are known as trans uranic elements uranium has atomic number 92 and after uranium what are the elements that are known as your trans uranic elements so these trans uranic elements are known as artificial elements or man made elements so when these elements are discovered so the credits go to different scientists so the different scientists may claim so we have discussed we have discovered it so how to assign a name to that element so before assigning any name to that so first these elements are uh, give the first these elements are assigned iupac name that is international union of pure and applied chemistry according to that these are named according to certain rules it is called iupac rules and after this iupac rule and whose contribution is more according to that the particular name is assigned to these elements so then how to name these elements which has atomic number more than 100 so for that let us discuss how to write the iupac rules so iupac nomenclature for elements having atomic number greater than 100 so here each atomic number consists of three digit and generally for each digit there is a particular word root used and generally you know there are 10 digits for the 10 digit there are a uh, particular word is used word root. that is word that is we can say word root is used and using this word root you can write the ipac name So, what are the word root for different digits? Look here. So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, for this, for zero, the word root used is nil. For one, this is on. For two, by. For three. Try for four, quad for five, pen for six, hex for seven. Then that is the word used. Seven, eight, nine. For seven, that is used. Set for eight, off for nine, and so these are the different. word root used and after using this word root and after using the word root if you write the numbers so for the number given 1 0 so what are the numbers for that uh, what are the word root are used these are written side by side and after that a suffix ion is used suffix ion is used in this way the name of element is written for example if an element has atomic number 105 or 105 for that the ipac name is the ipac 
name is for one always the first letter is capital letter and all other are small letters okay so for one the word used is on for zero it is nil but the first letter is always capital all other are small letters on nil for five the word is pen so on nil pen and after that you just use the yum so the name of the element is on nil pentium similarly symbol is also assigned to that element so how to use this symbol for the first letter of each digit using that you can write this symbol and the first letter is capital letter all other are small letters for example on nil pentium is there so the symbol is u n and p so symbol is u n p similarly suppose one element has 111 atomic number then what is its alphabet name so this is on 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 so you can write on 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 neon on 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 neon and what is the symbol for that u u and u u u and u okay similarly if one element has atomic number 118 118 one, then first its name its name is on on Optium, on, on, optium. And what is its symbol? Its symbol is U, U, and O. U, U, and O. Similarly, suppose one element has atomic number 1, 0, 3. Then what should be its IPEC name? So its IPEC name is on nil try on nil try but look here here is one i and in em is also one i so if there are two i just one i is omitted just one i is kept here so this i of this try is omitted here so on nil try yum and this symbol is u l t U N T. So from this symbol also you can write what is the name. Suppose one element has given the symbol. Uh, okay. Suppose one element has given the symbol U N H. Symbol given U N and H. What is its name? What is its symbol? So U N H means I fix the name is on nil hexium and its atomic number is 106 106 so in this way you can predict next come to um, how to predict the position of elements in the periodic table So prediction of position of elements in periodic table. Prediction of position of elements in periodic table. So if we know the atomic number of an element, then we can predict what is its position. So you know this periodic table is generally constructed according to the atomic number, 
and according to the electronic configuration of element so for that first you have to write the electronic configuration of this element so if the electron so first you have to write the electronic configuration electronic configuration and after writing this electronic configuration observe the last electron enters to which sub cell okay so prediction of position in the periodic table mentions one element present in which period which group or which block so we have to find out one element present in which group in which block and which period that is called prediction of position in periodic table so first you have to write the electronic configuration from that observe what is the last electron comes to which sub cell okay so the last electron last electron represents the block if the last electron goes to s this is called s block if the last electron goes to uh, p sub cell that is called p block if the last electron enters to the d sub cell that is your d block if the last electron enters to the f sub cell that is your f block element and the highest quantum number the highest principal quantum number highest principal quantum number highest principal quantum number represents represents the a period so when you write the electronic configuration observe what is the highest quantum number what is the valence cell so from that we can represent what is the period next so first point second point then how to find out the group so if that is in s sub cell the number of electron represents the uh, group okay if last electron in s sub cell in s cell is the last electron in s sub cell number of electron is equal to is equal to is the group number of electron is represents the group if one electron the group is one if two electron the group is two next um okay. if last electron in if the last electron is in if the last electron is in p sub cell is in p sub cell then on um, number of electrons if the last electron is p sub cell then how to determine the number of then group equal to then group number equal to number of p electron number of p electron plus 12 number of p electron plus 12 or you can write or ns plus np electron plus 10 so in this way you can find out the group and c if last electron is in a uh, d sub cell then group number group number equal to number of electrons in ns and n minus 1 d then the group number is number of electrons in ns and n minus 1 d you add this you can find out the group number similarly if the last electron is in f sub cell then all are present or s sub cell then all are present 
then a group 3 so all the f block elements actually these are present in group 3 but that cannot be shown in periodic table in this way these are placed in separate block that is f block elements so all the f block elements are present in group 3 so remember these points now let us discuss some examples okay so first one suppose one element has atomic number 34 it is present and then predict its position in periodic table so one element has atomic number 34 so then what is its electronic configuration 1h2 2h2 2p6 3h2 3p6 4h2 3d10 then 4p4 the electronic configuration of this element is this so here uh, first block so the last electron to this p in this block is p block that is p block okay then uh, period so the highest principal quantum number is n equal to 4 here in this way period is 4 period and then group so how many number of electrons in p 4 electrons so either you are p electrons for 12 or n s so within the same principal quantum number s electron p electron plus 10 or p electron plus 12 so group 4 plus 12 that is equal to 16 so the element in group 34 so the element atomic number is present in p block fourth period and group 16 similarly let us consider some other example one element has atomic number 53 predict its position in periodic table one element has atomic number 53 predicts its position in periodic table so 53 then with electronic configuration 1h2 2h2 2p6 3h2 3p6 4h2 3d10 4p6 so up to this that is actually 36 uh, then 5h2 then 4d10 then 5p5 okay so that is 36 then 38 this is 48 plus 5 53 so in this way this is the electronic configuration now last electron to this p so block block is p block uh, period so here the period is fifth period and group group is 5 plus 12 that is 17 that is present in group 17 okay next write down uh, one another question that is one element has atomic number 26 it is present in which group which period and which block of the periodic table so atomic number 26 electronic configuration 1h2 2h2 2p6 3h2 3p6 4h2 3d6 up to this 18 plus of argon then 4h2 20 3d6 this is present in 3d so block now block is uh, d block that is present in d block next period so what is this period 
which is given highest quantum number this one is present in four period and what is the group number of electron in n minus 1d and ns so n minus 1 3d and ns so six electron here and two electron here so group equal to number of ns plus n minus 1 d electrons that is equal to given so 2 plus 6 that is 8 so present in group 8 so in this way we can predict what is the position of elements in periodic table let us discuss another suppose one element is atomic number 19 it is present in which group and which block uh, a predicted position in periodic table. If it is given 19, then electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. So, next, what is the period? Period, this is fourth period, block, that is S block and group. How many number of electrons present in S1? It is present in group 1 and that element is potassium. Okay, so in this way you can predict the position of elements in periodic table. Now let us discuss some uh, questions that is analytical questions. So you have to analyze them. This is missing on concept. So, arrange the following species in increasing order of their size. So, generally, you know, the cations have smaller size than that of the atoms, and the anions have larger size than that of the atoms. Next, um, if different cations are there, if more is the magnitude, then it has a smaller size. And in the anions, if its magnitude is more, then larger is its size. And if we consider in a group of cations or in a group of anions, then its ionic size increases with uh, increasing the atomic numbers as we move down the group. So first given O2 minus N3 minus N3, F minus N3, 2 plus Na plus. But actually, all these are isoelectronic species. So, for isoelectronic species, which have higher uh, effective nuclear charge that has smaller size and lower effective nuclear charge that has larger size. And effective nuclear charge that is determined by uh, the number of electrons divided by its sorry, uh, so you know how to determine this effective nuclear charge. So in this case, if we consider all of the 10 electrons, Ng2 plus has higher value of effective nuclear charge. So how this is calculated? That is calculated by Z by E. It is determined by Z by E. So Z is number of protons nuclear and e number of electrons in magnesium proton is 12 by 10 so in this is z by e. so this is uh, 12 by 10 this is 11 by 10 in this way the size is given increasing order the smallest size is of magnesium so the answer is first mg2 plus na plus then it has neon, then given negative ions among F minus, okay, then O2 minus N3 minus. So this is the increasing order of their size, ionic radite. Next come to question number. Next question that is beryllium chloride sulfide Na plus Ng2 plus Br minus. So here different groups and different uh, 
uh, periods ions are given and uh, not all are isoelectronic in this way you have to think it logically so b2 plus cl minus h2 minus na plus mg2 plus br minus given so this cations are generally smaller size anion have generally larger size so among the anion so if you consider about the cations so it has magnet first look at the magnitude so beryllium 2 plus mg2 plus both have two positive charges sodium has one positive charge in this way its size is larger than these two in between magnesium and beryllium beryllium present in second period and magnesium present in third period in this way this has a larger size so so this has as this has larger size so as this has larger size so first is be 2 plus then mg 2 plus then na plus and all these these two are present in also in third period so then cl minus and h2 minus it has more magnitude of negative charge it has more than but br minus although it has one negative charge it is present in another period that is fourth period so this is present in fourth period it has larger size than that of um, sulfide ion so next um, cl minus s minus 2 and br minus okay so br minus in this way arrange next come to parsing cl minus h2 minus ca2 plus ar and k plus is given so all these are again isoelectronic all contain 18 electrons in this way it is easier to determine so if isoelectronic species is given it is easier to determine if different species is given then you consider logically so cl minus h2 minus ca2 plus ar and k plus given among them the smallest size is uh, ca2 plus positive charge more then k plus then argon then cl minus then s minus okay it is clear next uh, question number two Consider the elements nitrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, and sulfur. Arrange them in the order of increasing first ionization enthalpy, increasing order of negative electron gain enthalpy, and increasing order of non metallic character. So, this non metallic character actually depends on uh, the electron negativity. So, higher the value of electron negativity, more is its non metallic character. And its opposite is electropositive character. Element which have low value of um, uh, ionization enthalpy that are generally electropositive, which has high value of ionization enthalpy that are generally electronegative, more electronegative, and that is generally non metallic character. Okay, so consider the elements nitrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, sulfur. Arrange them in the order of increasing first ionization enthalpy. Among them, nitrogen oxygen present, so nitrogen oxygen present in second period and phosphorus sulfur present in third period. So nitrogen is present here, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These are second and these are third. And as we move down the group, due to increase in atomic size, ionization enthalpy decreases so atomic size increases ionization enthalpy decreases and as we move left to right this uh, atomic size decreases nuclear charge increases in this way ionization enthalpy increases but so nitrogen present in group 15 oxygen present in group 16 as it's present right it should have higher value of ionization enthalpy than that of nitrogen but actually nitrogen has more than that of oxygen similarly between phosphorus and sulfur 
phosphorus has more ions in enthalpy than that of sulfur. Actually, which is present at the bright side, that should have higher value of ionization enthalpy. But nitrogen has a half filled and stable electronic configuration. So, due to stable and half filled electronic configuration, it is very difficult to remove an electron from a stable electronic configuration. In this way, nitrogen has higher value of ions in enthalpy than oxygen. Similarly, between phosphorus and sulfur, phosphorus has also a stable half filled electronic configuration. So, in this way, removal of electron from phosphorus is also difficult than that of sulfur. So, in this way, nitrogen has higher ionization enthalpy than oxygen and phosphorus has also higher ionization enthalpy or that is also called ionization potential than that of sulfur. But as we move down the group due to increase in atomic size of the ionization enthalpy decreases. So in this way between oxygen and sulfur it has less between phosphor. So this group has less than this. So this period has less ionization enthalpy than this third period is less than second and between uh, nitrogen between sulfur phosphorus it has more than this nitrogen and oxygen it has more than this and when we consider uh, in um, period the third period is less than that of this so in this way among them the smallest value is of um, sulfur then that of phosphorus then that of oxygen then that of nitrogen so the increasing order of fast ionization enthalpy is sulfur, phosphorus, oxygen, then nitrogen. Next come to uh, question number two. Increasing order of um, negative value of increasing order of negative electron gain enthalpy. So this nitrogen phosphorus, as these have stable electronic configuration, they do not receive the electron easily. In this way, they have low value of electron gain enthalpy. But oxygen and sulfur, as these are present in group 16, they have high value of um, electron gain enthalpy. And between oxygen and sulfur, oxygen due to its smaller size, compact size, it cannot accommodate the incoming electron. In this way, uh, oxygen has um, less value of negative electron gain enthalpy than that of sulfur. Similarly, if we consider of nitrogen and phosphorus, nitrogen is smaller size than that of phosphorus, so it also cannot accommodate the electron EGD. In this way, between nitrogen and phosphorus, nitrogen has smaller electron, negative electron gain enthalpy than that of phosphorus. In this way, if we consider among them, the sulfur has the highest value of electron gain enthalpy. So the order of whom electron gain enthalpy is the smallest is for nitrogen, then that of phosphorus, then that of whom sulfur, oxygen, then that of whom sulfur. So actually it should be phosphorus, nitrogen and sulfur, oxygen but this is different due to compact size of nitrogen and oxygen. Next come to C. Increasing order of non-metallic character. So non-metallic character in this way decreases, in this way increases. So in this way non-metallic character increase, in this way decrease. So in this if you consider, so in this that means it increase in this way, increase in this way. So between if you consider phosphorus, sulfur, nitrogen or oxygen, the most non-metallic character is that of oxygen and the least is that of phosphorus. So this is phosphorus, then sulfur, then nitrogen, then oxygen. Phosphorus, sulfur, then nitrogen, then oxygen. So this is the increasing order of non-metallic character. So one question. The first ionization enthalpy of lithium is less than that of beryllium, but the second ionization enthalpy of lithium is more than that of beryllium. Instead of ionization enthalpy, in some cases it may be given IP, that is ionization potential. So give reason. So that can be determined from its electronic configuration. 
So look here, lithium, electronic configuration 1 is to OBS1 and that of beryllium 1 is to 2 is to. So minus electron BE plus 1 is to OBS1 and minus electron LI plus 1 is to 2 is not. And again it gives minus electron Li 2 plus 1 is 1 and minus electron Be 2 plus. So suppose we consider, look here, lithium has configuration 1 is 2, 2 is 1, 1 electron in the valency cell. In this way, removal of 1 electron is become easier. But here, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, this S sub cell is fulfilled. As the S sub cell is fulfilled and all the two electrons are in paired form, so removal of one electron becomes difficult. So it has a stable configuration due to fulfillment of this S sub cell. So in this way, removal of one electron it becomes difficult than that of this. So as it becomes difficult, it has high value of ionization enthalpy than this. That is IE1 and IE1. So IE1 of beryllium is higher than that of this. And after removal of one electron, its configuration becomes 1s2, which is also a stable configuration. Smaller size as well as a stable configuration. And but here the configuration is 1s2, 2s1, and the one electron is just only in S sub cell. If one electron removed from here, it can achieve the lot gas configuration of helium. So in this way, it becomes easier. After this, it has a stable configuration of the nearest inert gas that is helium, but it has no stable configuration. One is two. If it removes one electron, then it becomes a stable electronic configuration of inert gas one s two. So in this way, after removing one electron, it have it achieve the electronic configuration of helium, which is a stable one. So in this way, removal of one electron from here again becomes difficult. But after removal of one electron, it has no stable configuration. If it removes one, then the configuration becomes stable. So in this way, one electron removed from here becomes easier. In this way, IE2 and IE2. So IE2 of lithium is greater than this and IE1 of beryllium is greater than that of lithium. Okay, is it clear? Next some other properties. So electro all these but in general but to discuss the ionization enthalpy generally decreases down the group, increases along a period. Electronegativity um, generally increase in a period, decrease in a group. Electron gain enthalpy generally increase in a period, decrease in a group. Uh, and the metallic character, just reverse of electronegativity, it decreases along a period, increases along a group, so in a group, the electropositive character or metallic character. So, uh, the, these are some characteristics of um, some general features of um, periodic table, and from this, we can predict some periodic properties. And what are the different applications we will later discuss in different chapters.